In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to open the image editor and how to adjust your images using that editor. Now the best to do that is to go to page 2 here and I'll insert an image. To insert an image I can come up to the images menu up here, I can click on insert image and I have my image loading up, uh, window come up like this. And I can scroll down and select the image I'm looking for. This one will do. I can bring my mouse to the center of the screen like this and click uh, enter and I get my image pasted into the middle of my designing area there. Now while I'm in object mode I can see the uh, size and the position of my image here and I get presented with these tools up here. And from the image edit drop down I've got my standard type saturation, contrast, brightness type tools, color adjustment, duotone, I get some vectorizing tools here for tracing the image and some mask tools here for removing its background. What I'm interested here is in this color adjustment here. Now this brings up the image editor and you can also bring it up from the images menu and come down to image editor and also have the shortcut here. So if I click on this my image editor comes up and on the right hand side over here I have my image adjustments and down below I have my color correction channels here. Along the top edge here I have some zoom tools so I can zoom in and I can zoom out and I've got this uh, great tool here the split view. If I click on that it shows me the original on the left hand side and a preview and the changes I'm making to the original on the right hand side. So I'll show you an example of that. If I want to adjust the temperature here like this, I can adjust this, these, um, these, the, the hue channels here, make it yellower and blue as you can see, and I can compare my original to my preview here, to what I've changed it to. And over here I can change these measurements numerically or I can use these up and down arrows as so. I've also got this slider here that I can use to make these adjustments. If I make a mistake I can click reset as so. Other tools I've got in here are things like saturation so I can make it uh, more colourful or I can make it less colourful. I can make the image darker, I can adjust my gamma, I can make it 100% grayscale. I've got these sort of image adjustments here and if I make a mistake, if I say make it too dark like that, I can click this button here reset and that resets it back to the original as you can see, so those two both match now. Okay, so that's the image adjustments tools. Down here are the color correction tools. Now color correction, the amount these tools affect this image depend on the image itself. Some of these tools will have a great influence, some of them will have very little influence. It really depends on the image that you're working with. In this case the red channel has an effect. If I slide the red channel all the way over to the right here you can see it goes this yellow effect. If I slide it all the way to the left it has a red effect. If I reset this and I change my magenta channel, you can see here it's having no effect at all, or very little. So you'll need to experiment with these tools depending on the image you've got to see the sorts of effects you can create and change. But you'll find that by fiddling around with these things you can greatly change the way an image looks uh, and then you can um, click accept and bring that straight back into the program like this and as you can see there it is there. I can go back to that module by just simply clicking on color adjustment here and bring it back up. Now other tools that are important are these advanced tools here. Now reduce color count. If I wanted to cut this out of vinyl I might want to set this to say 8 uh, colors. So I click 8 and click apply and you can see what it's done. It's taken a full color image and it's brought it down to 8 colors as you can see there. And I can set that up to any sort of up to 256 colors. Um, another thing I've got here is Gaussian blur. So the more pixels I've got the blurrier it comes. So if I click apply you can see how blurry that is. If I bring that down to say 2 it's less blurry so I've got those sort of controls. I've also got all these special effects here. For example if I wanted to add some color noise I slide on this, click on the slider as I slide across you can see it coming in here. And if I adjust its split view uh, one to one like that you can see the difference this makes and I can slide it right out like that. So you can ha make all these sorts of effects like this mosaic for example, which gives me this effect. These are the sorts of things you can do here with these tools. And there's a lot of them here to choose from. Things like twist. You know, whether how much you would use these sort of tools, who knows. But there's some in here which are really quite uh, can make some really interesting effects. And um, you can do things like posterize, for example. So you can really make some uh, some very different looking images out of the original things like solarize. So these are the sorts of things you can do with these special effects here. Um, emboss is a popular one. If I set that down to say 1 or 2 
you can see this emboss effect you've got here. Now of course once you finish doing this you simply click on accept as I did before and it brings it straight back in. Now there's nothing stopping you from bringing the module back up and then adjusting this even more. Like for example with this emboss if I bring the brightness down you can see how I'm sort of enhancing this embossed effect. So the, these tools actually work hand in, uh, hand in glove together to create all sorts of effects on images. So you've got these advanced effects and these image adjustments over here and these color correction tools um, using this module. Click accept and your image is ready to go. So that's how we uh, use the image adjustment tools. And that's the end of this lesson.